Tonight on Documentify TV. What if the world's oldest boomerang wasn't from Australia? What if it was found in a Polish cave carved from a mammoth tusk during the Ice Age and it changes everything we thought we knew about our ancient ancestors? The story begins in 1987 in Obozowa Cave in southern Poland. Archaeologists digging through layers of history, from Neanderthals to early modern humans, found something unusual. It was shaped like a boomerang, but it was made from the ivory of a woolly mammoth. Initially, they dated it to about 23,000 years ago, which was already a major discovery. But new science was about to reveal a much deeper secret. Using advanced dating techniques, researchers confirmed the boomerang was much older. It is an incredible 40,000 years old, making it, without a doubt, the oldest boomerang ever found anywhere in the world. This stunning age places it directly in the hands of the Aurignacian culture. These were the first modern humans to enter Europe, and they were not simple toolmakers. They were highly skilled artists responsible for the famous Lion Man statue found in Germany, which was also carved from mammoth ivory. This boomerang wasn't just a random tool. It was part of a rich, complex world. This raises a huge question. What was it for? The evidence for it being a weapon is strong. Its design is very specific, flat on one side and curved on the other, creating an airfoil shape, much like an airplane wing. When researchers made and tested replicas, they flew with great effect, traveling much farther than a simple wooden stick. It was a long-range projectile, likely used for hunting animals like reindeer, whose bones were found in the same cave. Unlike the toy boomerangs we know today, this type wasn't designed to return. It was a serious, effective piece of hunting technology. But there is another side to the story, a twist that suggests this was something more than just a weapon. First, the boomerang has traces of red ochre, a pigment often used in ancient burials and rituals. Second, it wasn't just thrown away. It was deliberately placed inside a structure made of huge boulders. Some weighing over 60 kilograms. This was a place of importance. And finally, the material. Carving hard mammoth ivory with Stone Age tools required incredible skill and dedication. It was a valuable, precious object. The boomerang wasn't alone. It was found with other special items. Pendants made from Arctic fox bones, flint tools from sources hundreds of kilometers away, and perhaps most telling, a single human thumb bone. This wasn't everyday trash. This was a special collection of significant items, carefully placed in what appears to be a sacred location. Unlike the Neanderthals who lived there before, leaving behind everyday debris, the Oronation people used this cave for a special purpose. This idea of a special boomerang isn't unique. Thousands of years later, in ancient Egypt, similar non-returning boomerangs, some decorated with gold, were buried with King Tutankhamun. The Polish boomerang shows us that 40,000 years ago, our ancestors were not only brilliant engineers who understood aerodynamics, but also people with a deep sense of value and meaning. They created objects that were both practical and profound, a legacy that continues to challenge our understanding of the ancient world. What do you think its main purpose was? A weapon or a ritual object? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. That's it for today's video, folks. See you next time right here on Documentify TV.